Okay, now we will do the next question. Now we will find the final square root of negative 7, negative 24 i. Now we will do the next question. Let x plus i by is equal to square root of minus 7 minus 24 i. That is why we will square both the sides. Now we will do the next question. Square in. Square in. Both the sides, squaring both the sides, we obtain, now can we do x plus i by the whole square is equal to, and then root of minus 7 minus 24i whole square. Now can we do the expand here, now can we do x square plus 2xyi plus i by the whole square that is equal to minus 7 minus 24i. If we have the same x square plus 2xyi, i square is negative 1. We have to do negative y square that is equal to minus 7 minus 24i. If we have the same real part and the imaginary part equate here. Now, let's take the equating, equating, real and imaginary parts, equating, real and imaginary parts, we obtain, now we can turn that down, x square minus y square equal to, in the middle term, negative 7. That is what we call the equation number 1. Now, what do we call the imaginary part? The imaginary part is equal to 2xy is equal to minus 24. That is why we call the i-n. Now, we call the equation number 2. What do we call the equation number 2? We call the equation number 2. Okay. What is the equation? x square plus y square the whole square is equal to x square minus y square the whole square plus 2xy the whole square. Now we have to do x square minus y square is negative 7. Now we have to do negative 7 whole square plus 2xy is the negative 24 the whole square. Now we have to do t. Minus 1 in the square is 1 in the 1 in the 7 in the square is 49 in the 49 in the 49 in the 49 plus. If the negative 1 in the square is 1 in the 1 in the 24 in the square is 576. If you add 1 in the 625. Finally, x square plus y square in the whole square is 1 in the 1 in the 1 in the 625. In the other case, we are taking square root. Taking square root. Upon the other case, x square plus y square is equal to 25. Other than the other case, equation number 3. Now, we are going to do the positive sign and negative sign. We are going to do the positive sign and positive sign. Okay, in the other case, 1 and 3 you add in there. Adding, adding 1 and 3 we obtain. Number 1 and 3 you add in there. 2x square is equal to 25. Is equal to minus 7 plus 25. And then the 18. Then the x square is equal to 18 by 2. That is equal to 9. Okay, now we have x value to be plus or minus 3. Now, if we have x value to be plus or minus 3, then we will have y value to be plus or minus 3. Now, what do we do? Equation 3. Putting the value of x. Putting the value of x in equation 3. Now, in equation 3, x value to be plus or minus 3 is plus or minus 3 is whole square. Plus y square is equal to 25. That is 
Okay, in your question, we will close the chapter. 